Welcome back to the channel, Den members. My name is Matt. Today we are going to be mixing it up. We're not doing a review on a full firearm. I am doing a review on this AR-15 Custom Upper. This is an upper chambered in 5.56. It is from the company Soda Arms, and Soda stands for State of the Art. They're also based out of Minnesota. I see what you did there, and I approve. Side note, it's nice to see something Pro 2A come out of Minnesota these days. I kid, I kid. I know it's really only just the Twin Cities ruining your state. So how did I come by getting this upper and how did I choose this? It's really simple. In other videos, you've seen that my AR-15 is a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport 2. This is the upper that came on my M&P 15. It's just a standard mil-spec AR-15 carbine, 16 inch barrel. It has the little bit of Magpul furniture on it and I threw on a little additional furniture. I had no frills, gets the job done, but I was looking for something that I could do a little more customization with. Well, I was at a gun show recently and Soda Arms had a booth set up. And as I was looking through the table's inventory, I really just came upon this upper. And we'll get into why I chose this in a little bit. Full disclosure, I paid for this with my own money. I am not being sponsored by Soda Arms. Soda Arms, I'd, I'd love to work out a sponsorship here. I, we just crossed over 500 subscribers and we've been seeing some great growth. So hit, hit me up, hit me up, uh, slide in my DMs. I know they're never gonna contact me. While we're on the subject, if this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome to the Phantom Llama's Den. If you like this video, I highly encourage you to hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button twice and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon to get notifications on future videos of our awesome content. 2023 is going to be amazing and the next couple weeks, I've got a lot of fun stuff planned. Thank you for the support. It's been incredible so far. And let's get back to the video. My experience with it so far, I've only got a few hundred rounds on it. So far, I'm very pleased with it. The EOTech hollow sight and the Vortex magnifier, that did not come with the upper. I threw that on there so I could use this. And because this is going to be the primary configuration for my AR-15. Do with your upper what you will, but this is gonna be my configuration. So let's do just a basic breakdown here. The receiver is just a typical black anodized upper receiver. The barrel is a 16 inch Cromoly barrel chambered in 5.56. It has your typical 1.9 twist. Hey everybody, I just realized while editing here that I lied to all of y'all and we can't have that. The SOCOM upper that I got is actually a one to seven twist ratio. So I just wanted to set the record straight. It's not one to nine, it's one to seven. It has a standard flash hider on the end, which could be swapped out for something more to your fancy if you don't like the standard muzzle flash. One last thing before I forget, if this is something that's important to you, and it's important to the AR-15, the gas block is just a low profile three quarter inch gas block in there. Um, really just does its job. What made this completed upper stand out to me was the full length handguard. As I showed before, I have just your typical standard carbine hand grip. And while it's perfectly functional and perfectly usable, I wanted to get a little more real estate. And with a full length handguard, that will allow me to have my hand further out on the barrel and it will allow for other options. It allows for so much more real estate. The only thing I've added so far is just a quick disconnect for my sling. And I, like I said, I put my optics on here. I'm probably going to be moving my vertical hand grip over, but I haven't decided. There's something else at the gun show that I came across that I kind of want to put on the bottom. Moving on. You know, I just realized that I kind of lied before. Another thing that I've put on this completed upper is actually the bolt carrier and the charging handle. The charging handle that comes with the completed upper out of the box is just a standard charging handle. Um, I'll also say that the bolt carrier group is just your typical bolt carrier. There's nothing really fancy about that. 
The two reasons I got this upper was because it had a better, higher quality barrel. The Chromoly barrel was a huge upgrade from the M&P 15. I really like it. I mean, shooting it doesn't really feel any different than shooting my M&P 15's upper receiver. I know this is almost going to sound contradictory, but while it doesn't feel different shooting, it feels better in the hand. And the distinction there is when I'm holding it, my grip on the Soda Arms upper feels much more natural because with my longer arms, I can hold the barrel out further, which gives me a little more stability than if I'm forced to grip up towards the center of the barrel. I like being able to have an extended C-clamp grip out further on the barrel. It provides a lot more stability and it just feels more natural to me. The other reason I really like the full length handguard is, as I said earlier, it provides a lot more real estate, not just with the top Picatinny rail. I can mount canted sights if I want to do something all sorts of tactical, having it offset for irons if I need. The Picatinny just allows me to have a full array of options for stuff down the road. There's just so much M-Lock real estate. I can have just an array of items and I don't have to have them all confined to one particular spot on the rifle. I can have it well balanced. I can have it set up so everything's not crowded. And I like having that ability. It shoots very well, shoots very smoothly. The gas system is very well tuned. You can see in the video there, the empty casings were ejecting at a perfect angle. It's a very good AR-15 upper. I have absolutely no regrets purchasing it. I'm very pleased with how this thing operates. It shoots very well. The groupings are pretty tight at 100 yards. I'll throw a little picture up here. That's only with the front of the rifle stabilized. It's just against my shoulder. So there's still some wobble. There's still some sway built in to my shooting there. And you know, I'm very pleased with the results. The groupings are pretty tight for, you know, my own skill, my own ability. So with all that out of the way, there are just a couple very, very minor gripes. I don't even want to call them that about this upper that I feel I have to call out. And for that, I'm going to get this reunited with its lower. Again, these are only observations. They aren't deal breakers. First is the dust cover. On every AR-15 model that I've ever shot or handled, uh, it's very easy to close the dust cover. With the Soda Arms, at least this model, and maybe this is just a quality, maybe I got a bad apple here, but on this one, I really have to push it to get it. In. I'm sure as I do this over time, it'll get easier, but I have never felt a dust cover that took so much effort to close. It's just something worth noting. The second gripe I have is the teardown pins. The front teardown pin works just fine. The back pin, I cannot pull out to save my life. And it's not because I'm lacking dexterity. It's not because I don't know what I'm doing. The teardown pinholes on the upper aren't lining up quite perfectly with the teardown pin of the lower. What it takes for me is an Allen wrench or something small that can just fit in the hole and it'll break open. Not that big of a deal. It goes back in with a little less effort, but it doesn't want to come out, which just tells me that the pins aren't aligned. It could just be a compatibility issue with my M&P 15 lower. My initial reaction was I greased the heck out of it with some gun lube. And now I'm thinking I'm just going to dry it off and just 
one day when I'm really, really bored, just work the pin back and forth over and over and over. See if I can wear down the pinhole on the upper and get it to operate a little more smoothly. I know it sounds like I'm harping on that a little bit, but I'm really not. I think that about covers this Soda Arms upper. I really have enjoyed shooting with this upper the little bit I've shot with it. I'm definitely looking forward to getting this out to Llama Ranch just so I can have a little more free range of shooting rather than having to abide by public range laws. I definitely recommend checking out Soda Arms. If you're in the market for a new AR-15 upper, I can't put a link down in the description because of YouTube community guidelines, but if you go and Google or search engine of your choice, Soda Arms, you're gonna find them. They don't just make 5.56 five, uppers. They have them in nine millimeter. They have them in 350 Legend. I think they've got a 450. They have an upper chambered in just about every caliber and configuration that you could want to put on an AR-15. I highly recommend them. And I was about to say thank you, Soda Arms, for this, but again, I had to pay for this. Soda Arms, thank you for being a semi-local company that still believes in the Second Amendment and is willing to stand up to your own state government and fight the good fight. So for that, thank you. And thank you for making a good product. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for future content. Hit that bell icon for notifications of that content. And please share this with your friends. I cannot believe we are over 500 subscribers. As always, make it a great day.